And I know a lot of people been been wondering like, well, why? Why is this happening? Like, what the fuck is going on? And how did this how did this happen? What's up, Dres? How why is it happening? Come, come on, on up here, Asia. Come, 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 come on, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Mr. Ace of Fame, the owner of the Apache Cafe. of the door and 30% of the bar and pitcher. I also asked for 100% of the door and I also asked for 90% of the door. Ladies and gentlemen, wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait. No, these are the numbers that I gave to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Also, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Mike Club, let me ask you this. Is it man? It is the world famous Mike Club Atlanta's best live event, best club event by the rated by the Creative Loafing. Yes or no? Okay. Let me ask another question. Has there ever been another hip hop show that has earned that title, best club event in Atlanta? 
Let me ask another question. Do you believe that we earned the right to ask for 100% of the door after over six and a half years of work? Let me ask another question. Let me ask another question. Did any of you know about the Apache Cafe before the world famous Mike Club? Let me ask another question. Let me ask another question. Did the club earn the title of best club event or did the event earn the title of best club event? For those that say it's the club, make some noise. For those that say it's the event, make some noise. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that we ask, and mind you, we've been working in here for over six years at a 60-40 split. 60 to Four Kings Entertainment and myself, and 40% to the Apache Cafe. This has been the deal that has been signed that I negotiated on behalf of DJ Ox as I sat down at that table in front of this young man and his young wife at the time. I negotiated the deal for Ox in front of the two of you. Now, six, and mind you, when the deal was signed over six and a half years ago, 60-40 was the standard. It was the standard. It's, it is exactly what a promoter should get starting out with an event that has absolutely no legs, no bearing, no, no track record, no nothing. We signed a 60-40 deal. He is correct. Over six and a half years, we revamp our show four times over. Not only does the show include the world famous Mike Close freestyle battle, but we've also introduced the producer battle aspect to Atlanta, Georgia through the Mighty Mighty Beatdown. We've also brought Atlanta's only hip hop performance battle event, Crowd Control. And we've also introduced the series called the Behind the Board series, which we brought Diamond D through this door. We brought Ninth Wonder through this door. We've innovated the way that Atlanta looks at hip hop and the way that the United States of America and the world views Atlanta with regards to hip hop. There is actually an alternative choice. We made that happen. We made that happen. Yes, he brings up my, my partner. And a couple, there are a couple people in this building that are still here. I know. He brought up DJ Ox. Shame on you. The man has been dead for over three years. Shame on me. The, the, that, that, the, was, that was my partner. That was my partner. What are you the, talking the, about? Shame on Ox me. Has been, Ox, has been going, be? Ox has been gone for over three years. And the three years past, it is no longer about Ox. It's about you and I and we, how we do business. The only thing that I ask was that you just pay what you owe. You've allowed other events to come in and grab the concepts that we made. And as for much as you love hip hop, that's not hip hop. You don't bring in another producer battle event in a house that already has a producer battle event. You don't bring in another MC battle event in a room that already has an MC battle event. You don't do that. You don't, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You've had your moment. You've had your moment. You don't put a stripper pole in the middle of the fucking floor and disrespect the women folk that come in here on a Tuesday and keep it up here for six weeks straight. You don't do shit like that.